Right, Adrian. So all about seventh chords then. So we've got uh, four basic types, right? Major and minor, and then two seventh variations on each one of those, right? So <clears throat> simple enough, really, in theory, okay? So you've got major and minor chords with a higher seventh in it or a lower seventh, major seven or minor, minor seven, okay? So that higher seventh is one semitone below the eighth, and lower seventh is two semitones below the eighth. So Technically, I could leave it at that, so just keep that in mind, okay? Obviously, I won't, but, you know, technically, that really is all you need to know to um, to figure the rest out. So, let's do some examples, right? So, we'll take the A chords first, okay? A major, right? So, there's the A note in the A chord. As I said, you leave the root note, the bass note, the lowest one alone, because that's um, the foundation of the chord. You don't want to mess with that. Uh, so, then, take it back by one semitone for a major 7 and then take it back two semitones for a7 right so whenever you have just 7 a7 seven or c7 seven, what that means is a major chord with a minor 7th in it or a lower 7th in it okay so switching it over to <coughs> excuse me yeah, we're too far into the video now to redo it um <clears throat> so uh a minor then so again you take the eighth down by 1 and you get A minor major 7, okay? These are, that's the least common type. Good for metal though, obviously, I mean. Um, but now keep in mind as well, that's the only one of the four, it's an A major minor 7, it's a bit of a mouthful, but on the other hand, that's the only one of the four that actually, that tells you explicitly what the chord actually is. It's a minor chord with a major 7 in it. Here we have here, if, it, if this one was named the same, where we take it down by two, this would be called A minor minor seven. It's a minor chord with a minor seven in it. So these are kind of like your funky chilled kind of chords, I suppose you could say. Now, just going back to the A major for a second, this is not the only way we could do it. Another A note would be, there's your E string, E, no E sharp, so F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, right? So let's play A major like this. So now, there's our 8th, that's A major 7, that's A7, okay, uh, another example, E major, now you've got the uh, the chord diagrams here, so I won't go through them exhaustively, it's, it's, it's the principle of finding a chord, knowing what the parts of the chord are, and then knowing what, how to change it and add to it, okay, so E major, there's an E note there, so you could say that that is E major 7. So we're taking this note back here, so now we're 1st fret, 1st fret as well, now 2nd fret. That's a E major 7. Probably not the best way to do it, it's a bit, I was going to say, it's a bit muddy down here, but we'll get to that. Then of course, take it down by 2, there's your E7. Now again, that's a bit muddy, so what we could do is, now you wouldn't, but for E major 7, there's the E note there. Take that down by 1 holding these two down at the same time. Nice chord, but a bit awkward, right? And then of course, but less awkward is if you just take your, that eighth down by two, there's E7. So that's a probably a better way to do it. Now, two shapes for the majors, um, yeah, and the minors, I suppose, that you could bar are um, A major seven, so C major seven, D major 7, E major 7. Also, your D major 7 shape. So there's D major, there's the 8th, take it back down, there's D major 7. Hold it with the 3rd finger, there's E major 7. Now, it's E, so it just happens that I can let this bass string in there. If it's F, obviously I'm not going to go... Or like E flat. So, you know, but what you can do is, I know it starts off on the D note, on the D string there, but you can add in the lower fifth as well. It's a little bit more muddy, but it does thicken out the chord a bit. So there's F major 7, G major 7, A major 7. Same with 7th chords. So you can just take your A7 here, like that, C7, D7, E7. 
Also, another one, let's say you wanted, uh, I don't know, uh, G7, but you don't want to go, you know, and you want to do it, you don't want to do this one either. But at the same time, you don't want to take that A7 shape and move it all the way up here. It's just a bit too high. You know, you don't always want to be going uh, too high up the fretboard. A nice one you can raise up is D7, like that, okay? Then D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G7. And again, I'm including that lower fifth here. Okay, so that's a nice movable shape. Your E7 shape, very movable as well. E, F7, F sharp 7, G7. For minors then, you've got definitely the A minor 7 shape is very movable. C minor 7, D minor 7, E minor 7. The E minor 7 shape, pretty movable too. minor 7, A minor 7, and if you're feeling, if you're not too lazy, you can add in that upper 7 as well. Let me just show you where that's coming from, okay? So you've got E minor, this 7 here, there's your, well there's your 8th, take it down by 2 for the E minor 7. Bit too muddy, it's it, to me that one just sounds like you're open strum, right? So what you can do is you can take that upper E note, put it here. Take that down by two, by two, and there's E minor seven. Or you can have both sevens in. That's fine too. And then you can take that up. Let's say so. We'll play it like this. G minor seven, A minor seven. Those sound pretty nice. And then as for your major minor sevens, if you want to take that one up, the D major minor seven shape. So there's D minor, D minor major seven. G minor major 7. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Another one I really like is um, taking E major like this. Just taking the first four strings of E major, bringing that up, let's say G. You can have your root note there as well. There's your eighth. Take that down and you've got this kind of staircase shape here. Your bass note then would be here. G major 7, C major 7. Then of course if I was to take this down another one, well keeping the bass note there if I can, C7. Okay, so it's all about just knowing obviously the chord shapes, but what note is what in every chord shape. So for example if you're taking your, there's our E shape there, right? So how do we know what's what? Well that's a first, major third, fifth, eighth or first as well, depending on what you want to call it. Okay. And most of all, just throw them around the fretboard and see what happens. You can get really cool results by just, you know, um, uh, just putting your bar chords in particular around in weird ways. So just up a semitone, down a, down a semitone, and it sounds kind of interesting. Here's another one I really like, taking major seven chords and bringing them up three semitones at a time. So watch this. So we'll start off at A major seven, C major seven, D sharp major seven, F sharp major seven. Okay, so loads to be getting on with there. Just throw them around and find what shape just flows off the fingers nice and easy for you. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing. My, one of my favorites, the minor seven flat five. Okay, so we'll take A minor seven and we'll leave it just to the four strings. Take it up, let's say B minor seven. So there's B minor. There's the eighth, take that down by two for B minor seven. And there's the fifth there, so B minor seven, flat five. Very cool chord, really, really nice, interesting kind of vibe to it. So you can just make it a bit easier by just changing it around. First fret, third fret, sorry, second fret, third fret, second fret, third fret. There it is. Do that there. Okay. Okay, talk to you next time.